42,000 miles with a brand new cam swap. Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today I got a little simple, easy video for you guys. So I wasn't planning on making a video, but since it is my first car, or this type of car, then I kinda, I guess I could make one. And I wanted to make it so I can tell you guys how easy it is. So, this is my first GTO, Pontiac LS2 sits all. This thing is, really really clean 42,000 miles that's crazy so I'm draining the coolant right now as you can hear but I just want to say I done one TBSS and I done a, sh a, sh a lot of Silverados the TBSS was a lot harder than a than on the Silverado the frame and the I guess you could call it like this the wheel tubs and everything they're literally like this far from the headers and like it's just so compacted and everything and it's like it's just got hoses everywhere and blah 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 and this one man it's crazy how clean and simple it is like like look all this empty space like over here too like it's just crazy like and it's got everything it's got AC it's got power steering it's got alternator it's got everything that all the cars have but it's so clean you don't got hoses running over the headers and stuff like that and like like right here can you imagine how easy it would be to change the spark plugs literally like like just easy and then it's just crazy and then this is easy accessible on the TBSS to get the radiator and stuff out man it was it a pain in the butt I struggled you had to go under and loosen bolts like 20 bolts on the bottom and on top and blah 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 it was just a pain in the ass and on the Silverado, it's pretty much just normal, but it's still, like, you kind of struggle a little bit because it's still, like, a little compacted. You got, like, the heater hoses running on this side and blah, blah. So, yeah, we're doing a Summit Pro LS cam of valve springs, and that's pretty much it. So, just wanted to say how easy it is to cam a GTO. Got the lifter rods in, so the lifters on fall. Got my water pump bolts on, on the cam. <laughs> Alright, we're out. We're back in with the new one. Put some nice alien booger on it. Rotates good. All right, guys, got it all done. All back together, pretty easy, pretty simple. Got some water in it. It's probably gonna need more once I turn it on and the water pump starts flowing and everything. But yeah, it's pretty easy on this one. I could say it was easier than a truck, than a Silverado. Should be ready to fire up. Let's see what it does. See how it sounds. Forty-two thousand miles with a brand new cam swap. and it died up. It's gonna need some help.
Alright, there he goes. I helped it a little bit with the try to keep it idling and then I finally let off and it stayed on there. So. Nice and quiet, no lifter tick or anything. Hell yeah. That's a nice long tube header. It's crazy how the headers go around the power steering. Right there. You see some tubes go this way and some tubes go around it. It's like hugging it. Got some water in it. Oh, it sounds nice. Alright, guys, but that's gonna be it for today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, uh, stay tuned for the other videos on the turbo truck. I got it running already, but I got some issues with the blow valve and stuff like that, little issues. But yeah guys, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys on the next video.